YouTube, what the crap's going on? Air of Carthage here, and I actually forgot to save my game last time, like usual. Thank goodness for autosave. I'm going to go ahead and save it this time, though. Um, so when I had to refight this battle, I did an auto-resolve afterwards to kill the remnants of the uh, enemy army, and they killed my companion cab. So unfortunately, I no longer have that companion cab, but we'll get them back eventually. So it wasn't something that made me feel like going back and playing it over, because... My recording time is fairly limited during the week. Um, they released this during the week, and it kind of caught me off guard. Had I had a weekend to prepare, I could have recorded a whole bunch of stuff in advance. But it didn't work that way. I need to go ahead and uh, end this turn. So we've recaptured Pulpadeva. We've destroyed the armies of Tillis that were nearby. We're going to need to go take their home province from them to finish them off. To make sure we don't get any more nuisance from them. And then we need to also start training a second army to lend its uh, help to me in becoming a little more powerful. As clouds gather, Trabali want a non-aggression pact, that is just fine. And let's see, Tillis is trying to poison my wells. Or not trying, they're succeeding at poisoning my wells. Let's see if we can get rid of the enemy agent here. At least wounded them, which is good. And we're doing some retraining there. I probably have enough units to just go ahead and push on Tillis now. Let's move my men down here and get ready to uh, to cross over. Wish my spy didn't just have to use all their movement points. I need to recruit a champion, though, too, so let's go ahead and do that before I forget. See if any of them have military training. This guy does. All right. And that champion gets to start at level 2, which is just fine. Let's go to Zeal. And not researching any technologies. Let me rectify that. That's certainly not what I want to be happening. Um, I'm going to try and rush into this uh, hoplite barracks. See if I can crank out some sweet military units. I'll be needing those. I don't think I have enough money to really accomplish anything else on the rest of this turn. So let's go ahead and let it play out. See what happens here. Looks like Carthage just took come to you in strength, Syracuse to over. Speak words of Tillis strength. wants a peace treaty. Uh, it's not going to happen. Which means that they're weak and need to be conquered, basically, is what they're saying. They're saying we're pathetic and weak. Air, please, destroy us or enslave us. And I'm thinking destroy sounds good. I know a lot of you want me to enslave them because you're saying it's good for the economy. Uh, I, I may try that later on. I want to figure out a little bit more about it, though, before I do it. Because I don't really understand the whole enslaving and... Uh, all that stuff, so let me read into it before I do it and end up causing like a big rebellion or something, which would be typical for me to do. Um, let's see, I just used all my money doing that structure, so I'll wait. Do these others, so we can end another turn here. And it looks like Tillis is going to be pretty much ripe for the picking. Yeah, look at that. Carthage and Syracuse traded Lily Bayum, which is kind of cool there. I wonder if they're going to go to war with Carthage, uh, the Romans in Carthage at least. Romans are actually looking fairly strong last time I got a decent look at them. Ready for orders. And it's saying that Tillis has really good chances here. If they think they can explain why, I'd be curious to know. I mean, yeah, they have an oath sworn on that boat and a few Thracian warriors, but I really don't see how they have any chance, so let me go ahead and rob them of their life and remind them why the auto-resolve shouldn't have favored them. And we'll be done with it. Small little port town here that we're going to take on. The Heralds of Death are no match for the Heralds of Feces. So, I'm pretty sure we got this one handled. <laughs> the Troubled Waters. Yeah, that's a good name for your navy. No. I hope you're not um, s superstitious. Let's start deployment while it's dry because I want my slingers to be able to just have their way with these guys. Basically what I'm going to do is just pull my slingers up and the enemy is not going to want to just sit there and eat it. And then they're going to have to move up into my waiting defensive units. It will not go well for them. That's why I'm not sure why the auto resolve thought this was going to be such a pretty thing for them. Um, it must be just a numbers thing or something. Enemy reinforcements approaching. So some of you ask me how I move my troops like this. If you have the option turned on, um, you can basically just select a bunch of units and then you can just left click. Um, like, so for instance, if I get all these slingers, I can just left click and then just drag while holding the left click. 
and you can drag them to wherever you want. If you hold control, you can rotate them as well. So, you know, it's up to you. Like, see, I can do that and then move them, you know, vice versa, whatever you want to do. Um, it's pretty handy. It It's not perfect, but it works pretty well. A uh, hard group will actually make your men keep the actual formation they're in, whereas you can see in this case my slingers go ahead and outrun their infantry support. So you got to be careful where you use it. Uh, a hard group is more appropriate in certain circumstances. Those Thracian warriors just took a nice volley. Looks like they're going to send up their Celtic slingers. slingers. I'm going to focus fire their Celtic Lose. slingers and knock them out. And it looks like their Celtic slingers have rapid reload. My guys do not. But that's okay, My, I've got four... And uh, my guy's got the first volley here. Only three kills on that massive volley, though. Let's see how many kills they get on their first volley. None. Good. Oh, they're shooting at my general. Typical AI behavior. They're just going to bypass. I think I get more shield strength from Hoplite Wall. Let's see if it protects him from any of that fire. Yeah, we're going to destroy the uh, the enemy slingers here. I don't want to waste too much ammo on them. I want to use my ammo on their uh, Thracian warriors. And then they've got their boats coming in from back here. But I don't think anything on their boats is really going to save them here. I've got pikes to handle even their elite infantry. And then their noble cavalry is going to face the same issue. Speaking of which, I'm going to keep my pikes nearby in case the noble cavalry decides to sally forth. Um, which it very well could. But those Thracian warriors are going to make pretty pretty easy targets, I think, for my slingers. They're not particularly well armored or shielded. You can see they just have that small shield along their uh, forearm there. So these guys are going to get cooked by my slingers, I think. Plus, I haven't even researched the, uh, the right stuff. I can probably get extended ammo for my slingers, too. Looks like the Thracian warriors are going to move out of range there. I'm going to move my slingers up closer so I can get better shots. If the uh, Thracians sally out at me, again, I can just pull back through my pikes, let my pikes finish them off. So the Thracians can sit here and do the AI thing, which is typically they'll they'll take some fire from you and then reform and let another unit take some fire from you, and they'll kind of just spread out the fire rather than just sitting there and taking it. Sometimes they'll sally out against you, though, when they think that you have too much of a missile advantage or artillery. But it looks like right now these guys are just pretty happy to simply sit here and take it, which is fine with me. I don't want to use all my slinger ammo, though. I'd like to save some in case there's some incoming units from these boats that makes more sense for me to kill. So let's see. But yeah, those Thracian warriors just lost half their numbers. And they just turned their back to me, which is probably not going to go so well. And they lost a couple more men there, too. I'm going to move my pikes into this um, confined space. They'll be safe there. See, my slingers should be able to get in range of that Thracian warrior. I'm gonna kind of seal off all the uh, exits to the city. Okay, my slingers are now in position. Let's see if my pikes. You know, you remember how fast the AI was getting their pikes down? Oh, I didn't have mine engaged. So I was actually pretty lucky right there. Yeah, look, even when I just put my guys into phalanx. Oh, that was pretty quick. It wasn't bad. Yeah, watch this. This is going to be a massacre. Thracian units charging headlong into pikes that are very secure in their flank. This is not a good plan, and they're even bringing in their noble horse general, and it's probably to do with my slingers shooting them in the flank. AI tends to get pretty uh, upset about you hitting them in the flank. There are some enemy slingers still back here, or Celtic Skirmishers, so I'm going to pull my slingers over at an angle and actually get them. Yeah, you can see this is going to be very, very bad for the uh, AI here. This is not what they want. Alright, we've got a couple of Celtic Skirmisher units back here. So I'm going to get all my slingers in here firing. There we go. It'll take a minute because these uh, Celtic Skirmishers have good shields. But my slingers should start to affect them. These guys have decent armor piercing. Those uh, Celtic skirmishers are starting to take a small toll on my pikemen. But uh, skirmishers aren't quite as good after this patch, at least most of them. doesn't seem like it because armor went up on pretty much all units. But their attack actually went down. Their armor piercing attack did go up. 
but it seems like overall that uh, they kind of got nerfed. General. Yeah, okay, there's skirmishers. They got more Celtic skirmishers coming up. Looks like I'm going to run out of ammo. Yeah, the Thracians are definitely taking a pretty savage beating here. Why did my skirmisher stop? They must be on, uh, they must have skirmished away. Please fire. We gotta kill these Celtic skirmishers because they're killing my pikes. Kind of disturbing how long it takes for slingers to, uh, kill these guys. If I go take the town centered, I'm actually the worried the AI wavering. might turn around and try and... Oh, their Celtic skirmishers are firing at my shield bearers. How very typical AI. I'm gonna get my shield bearer up here into Hoplite Phalanx. And support this fight. It's freaking skirmishers. And now they're starting to kill quite a few of my shield bearers, unfortunately. So let's bring in our cav from behind and see if we can cause some trouble. The slinger should have an angle. Yeah, okay, most of the Thracian units are getting trashed up against my pikes, and if I lose a levy pike, it's no big deal. I need to replace them with standard pikemen anyway, because the standard pikemen will be better. Bring some hoplite support in. There we go. My citizen cap should be able to pin these skirmishers in. I may lose quite a few men, but I'm not going to be at war with anybody once I destroy Tillis. So I don't think I'm at any particularly large risk here. So my loving pikemen. Let's give those guys a second win. I'm going to go ahead and go into Hoplite Phalanx and ease forward. Just make my guys a little more defensive here. AI is sending reinforcements to help the enemy against my flanking maneuver. Dead. Enemy general's dead. All the rest of their guys are pinned up here. Let's see. They landed a couple of boats here. So we're going to need to watch out. There's an oath sworn unit about somewhere. Though I don't see it at just this moment. Ah, here it is over here. Yep, the heavy raider's got an oath sworn in it. All right, but all of the remaining Tillis units in this vicinity are starting to uh, break up a little. I'm going to take my Hoplites out of Phalanx mode. An entire unit has perished. One of my units? Oh, one of my citizen cav got completely killed. This stupid Celtic tribesman. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to pull these guys back and wouldn't think a Celtic tribesman would really do all that well against a citizen cab, but whatever. And then my pikes are having a hard time finishing the uh, fight over here. Get out of my way, slingers. I wonder if I can pull through these slingers. I'm going to try to, because I don't think they can cause me much damage anyway. I'm going to try and get in behind these units here. Okay, here comes more Celtic tribesmen. That oath sworn should be on its way as well. Yeah, pulling through the slingers was worth it there. <laughs> I don't think I really took any losses to the slingers. Alright, I'm gonna get my pikes up a little closer. And my slingers have more ammo. My general. Let's move him up. These guys are just out of line of sight at the moment. Alright. Let's see where the remaining enemy units are at. Come on. Wow, they hit all the way up to that point. Seems a bit extreme. Walk my pikes forward just a smidge. Here comes the Celtic tribesmen, gonna get impaled. Which is perfectly fine with me. 
Man, those guys can hide, like, right through here just because of those few trees. That's impressive, actually. Both odd and impressive. Especially since my units are, like, looking straight down that... Alleyway. Where'd the Oath Sworn end up at? I haven't seen the Oath Sworn yet. I'm gonna run down these routing units just real quick. I have no idea where the uh, Oath Sworn unit got off to, but... Let's fast forward real quick and... See if we can find it. I have my horsemen just running down those routing units just real fast. Oh, there's something here. Celtic tribesmen. Where those guys are running around to. Let's see if we can lure them back. Oh, there's the Oath Sworn. Wow, those guys have like some super stealth capes or something. Pikes down, pikes down, pikes down. Alright, so I'm gonna give these Oath Sworn some pikening. And let's bring my uh, shield bearers up too. I'm gonna try and get behind the Oath Sworn here, flank him a little. You can see my uh, hoplites are actually kind of getting around behind him, and then my pikes have them a little more fixed from the front. If I spread my units out thin, I think I can weasel them past the, uh, the flank of the Oath Sworn here. Might lose a pikeman, but I think we've got the Oath Sworn where we need it. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a Come on. Let's see if I can get my shield bearer into position. I mean, Oath Sworn is definitely a pretty strong unit, so I don't expect it to die quickly or easily. But surrounded and having taken so many army losses, I do think we can get rid of it here. There it goes. Alright, let's end this battle. Take the city. Yeah, I don't know where they thought these guys were getting good chances. They just... I mean, they honestly didn't really have the proper tools to deal with my pikes. They had a few skirmishers, but I also had skirmishers, and I had cav. And they only had one unit of cav, which wouldn't be enough to protect all their skirmishers. I mean, even if they played it right, um, I don't know that there's much way they really could have won that. I think the AI was just going off numbers, or maybe a couple of units or something. It seems like I still had quite a few numbers, but I'm not going to subjugate. I could raise loot. Okay, money, public order. All captives will be enslaved. Um, let's just go ahead and occupy Ready just to keep things stable for now. Ready for orders. So we've now taken Anthea, or however you say it, which I probably just said it wrong, come to think of it, but that's okay. I am going to add convert that temple for now. I'd like to get a farm here eventually, but I need some influence to overcome what these other factions are creating in the province. I can rebuild the buildings a little bit later, but for now that should be fine. I don't know if I have enough money to expand that city and still have enough to build the building, so let's see. The Heralds of Feces have leveled up, or at least the General has. We can get Yet more authority, but I might go ahead and uh, open zeal, or let's open cunning as well, and in this turn, we're going to be finished with the next bit of research at the end of this turn, which was some naval research. Uh, not a big deal to me at this moment, but we will want to be able to wield some naval power eventually, so it'll be helpful later on. Looks like the Tillis army ran way, way up there away from me. It's kind of annoying. I can't trade with Bithynia anymore because it looks like Sardes has taken over the area. Let's see if they are interested in trade or Pergamon, Sardes. Yeah, it's Sardes. No, Pergamon maybe. Where's Pergamon? Yeah. No, I think it's Sardes that took it over. Well, I'm not too worried about it at the moment. Rome looks like they're starting to... Treaties with Epirus. I didn't realize I had one with Epirus. Huh. That's weird. Don't know why the Romans suddenly changed their attitude towards me. Mystery for the ages. Let's see. So we need to build another building here at 
Macedonia. I think I'm going to build another public forum. Yeah, build one more public forum. And then up here at this public forum, let's see, we can build a cattle trader, which is going to give me some food and wealth. That'd be helpful. Um, plus one experience for all new agents. That's not bad either. Plus five public order, along with a little wealth. Libraries are always helpful too, but it takes food. I think for now I'm going to build the Traveler's Lodge. Just for now. I'll probably tra uh, change it out later on. Whenever I need a different type of building to be more effective. Let's go ahead and in another turn. I'm getting closer to being un able to unlock the Hoplite Barracks, which I think gives me access to Thorax Swords, Thorax Pikemen, uh, maybe Royal Peltist, I can't remember. That would be a handy unit to have. Uh, from the Cavalry Department, I think you get Thessalian Cav. Um, I may already have that. I don't think I do, though. Let's see what it is I can recruit here, because I know I have a Holosodros Barracks here. But this army needs to be trained up. Sweet, we can get archers here, too, which is going to be fantastic. Yeah, we cannot get... We can't get the... Um... Sally and Cav just yet. Looks like my income's shooting up some too, which is great. Makes sense. Do we get any additional use? Skirmisher Cav, not worried about that, so I don't really need to upgrade that building. Let's go ahead and get uh, uh, some units trained into this army. We're going to need some cavalry and some pikemen. Uh, someone was telling me I can recruit four units. That doesn't appear to be the case. Looks like three for now. Um... See, Anthea got converted. Really need to use my money to build this up. Harbor uses food. Gets squalor from the fishing port, though. Shipwright gives me a little wealth. Uh, I think the small food penalty would be worth it here. I'm going to take it. Okay. Let's bring this spy down here just in case that till a spy that I can see comes ashore. And let's end this turn. And I'm just about out of time for this episode. So I will cut this one a little shorter than I did the one yesterday. Just for the sake of, again, I don't have a ton of recording time. I need to get to bed. Got the little one and everything. So, yep. Come this weekend, though, I'll get a bunch of stuff filmed and uh, hopefully give you all a good overloading with videos. I know some of you will say, though, that I probably can't give you too many. I hope that's the case, because I intend to give you quite a few. Let's see. I'm going to need some Hellenic influence. Man, everything takes a little bit of food now, it seems like. Oh, well, I've got plenty. All right, and then we recruit a few more troops into this army with the money we got left, which isn't a ton, but we can do a little work here. We can go ahead and get some archers, maybe, because they're cheap. It's a good life. All right, I do believe I'm going to go ahead and end this for this turn. On the next episode, uh, my armies will be mostly retrained. I don't have a ton of men in them, but I should have what I need. I'm going to go ahead and go take out the Odrissian Kingdom, unless there's some reason I shouldn't, but that'll be my focus to go take them out, and then I will mostly control this province. Um, I may even go turn on the Trevali if if I need to. I, just, I don't want to create like a bad name for myself amongst others, but I'm going to think about, oh look, here's the new um, minor settlement options that we have. Uh, we can build a market settlement, which takes away a little food, but gives us growth, uh, wealth, uh, this one gives us public order. All of them cost a little extra food, which is fine. That makes sense. I've got plenty at the moment, so market settlement gives me 100 wealth. That one gives me 100 wealth also. Huh. So it kind of looks like it just helps focus your different areas. Wealth from commerce, wealth from all sources. I think I'll take this one, get the extra growth as well. 
So, anyway, hope you all enjoyed this. Air of Carthage signing off for now, and I will be back tomorrow with some more Macedon action.